Good morning. I wanted to take you guys on a morning visit in the manor. I haven't cleaned in here yet, so this is kind of what it looks like for real. <laughs> I'll introduce you to my kitties. That's Zoe. She's been here a while. She's kind of a brat, but I love her. So, she's kind of the queen bee of the cattery. <laughs> I know. Definitely the boss in here. That's Otis. Peanut. Peanut. Otis came from Yolo County. He is toothless. I know, Otis, say hi. This is my new guy. This is Midas. He came from the shelter the other day. He's such a sweetheart. Oh, buddy. He was injured. But he's healing up now. This is my little Muffin Man. Muffin Man was trapped at Delta Shores parking lot along with Peanut, that one right there. Both of them had to have their tails amputated. Look at his little tail. They were degloved, so their tails looked like they were um, like a banana, peeled like a banana. You could see the bone. Yeah, and he's pretty shy with new newcomers. People love his pictures, and but he really is um, kind of my baby. I wish I could find him a home, but it's going to take somebody patient and special. And then over here, come here, buddy. This is Whiskey. Whiskey came from the shelter, too, the other day. Hi, bud. He had an injury. He's on medication for a wound because he and Midas both came um, in. They were intact, not neutered, so they were probably out on the streets being fighters. I know, Muffy. Let's see. That's Farah up there. Farah! She's a feral. I touch her every once in a while, but she was um, abandoned in an apartment complex. Are you going to trip me, Muffy? I want everybody to see you. <laughs> and then I got music playing, and this is the kind of the ISO ward when I have sick cats um, and then lots of litter boxes as you can see it's definitely a full-time job trying to keep the place clean and everything scooped which I haven't done yet this morning oh there's Hobbs hi Hobbs Hobbs and his brother Willoughby the gray and white right there they were being um, cared for by a lady in Elk Grove uh, along with some other kitties and she was moving so she didn't want to abandon them and reached out for help so I took these two hi <laughs> Willoughby and um, found a barn home for the other two because they were super feral Willoughby come here so this is our outside area it's got bird netting on the top Here's my Violet. Violet just went to the vet yesterday. She had to have surgery. Look at the owie on her mouth, see? Yeah, I got her from the shelter a couple weeks ago too. She's about 14, but she has somebody that wants to take her on a trial adoption this weekend, even though she's an old girl. Otis. So they love the sun, obviously. I have um, an awning there that I Put out a sunset or awning but when it's nice like this I pull it back so they can be in the sun yeah that's my daddy I was able to build this cattery um, thanks to my mom and dad this is my mom and uh, both definitely both animal lovers and loved cats and dogs and would be 
very pleased with what we're doing here. So the kitties are very comfortable here. They stay here until they get adopted. Some of them don't ever get adopted. They are like my own pets and I have a shrine here too. A lot of them, this is the cremains of um, several Tango and Max Garris Muffin. Muffy, people are going to think you're very social. And Lonnie, Lonnie's up there too. She was with me for quite a while. And Dot, Dot's cremains are there too. That's my Dottie. She was with me since 2011 and she died last year. <laughs> so I will leave you with that. Hope everyone's staying safe and sane and getting lots of love from their furry friends at home. I know Muff. Say bye. Say bye, Whiskey.